Hi, I'm Chris Thomas, and you're watching Pop Stop TV. You said that you were about to join the Army, but then <laughs> something told you not to do it, and you're saying how it was kind of meant to be to be here. So how would you describe that feeling of what made you not sign up? Honestly, I went to talk to the recruiter. I took the practice as Baptist, and I scored a really high score on it. And he was telling me, you know, you can have any job in the Navy you want. Just sign up, sign up. And he was really pressuring me, and I just kind of had a... A little gut feeling that just said don't don't sign up just yet so I was like okay so I prayed and I said God if it's your will for me to sing open up a door and make it so plain that I cannot miss it and I kid you not two weeks later the voice auditions came to Memphis and I got the call to come I was invited to audition so I mean I was and here I am in the top 12 you know you can ask for a better so at that time, you had no idea that the voice auditions were even coming up or anything? I mean, I had heard about them. Um, I didn't really plan on going because I auditioned for season one and didn't make it. And I got the call and they said, hey, you know, we know you auditioned for season one. Would you be interested in coming and trying out again? And I said, okay. You know, for them to call me, it's like, okay, God, is that what you're trying to tell me? And so I went down and here I am. Blake said that you uh, you tend to choose songs that push you to the extreme. Do you feel that way when you're singing them? Like, I gotta hit this note. Are you kind of nervous at that time? To be honest, Shakira picks my songs. She's picked every song that I've done since the live playoffs. So I think she sees something in me and thinks that I can I can do these things. And, and she sets the bar high, and I, it's just my job to, to meet it and listen to her as a coach. That's incredible. So you, are you ever nervous, though, when you're performing? Yeah, I, I am kind of <laughs> nervous. <laughs> I am kind of nervous because she does pick hard songs. Like last week, I did Bruno Mars, and that song was incredibly hard, and this one was too. But you know, she coaches me so well. I trust her, and I just try to listen to her advice, and it's been working thus far. Great, that's great. Um, and so, when you sang the song tonight, some of the judges said it seemed like maybe you were struggling between Mariah Carey and Michael Jackson with the Jackson 5. Did you feel that way when you were performing? Well, originally, I was assigned Mariah Carey's version, and I had been practicing it and practicing it, and then tonight, they changed it and was like, it's the Jackson 5, and I was like, oh. So I still had to sing it like I had been rehearsing it, but, you know, it's, it's all good. So at what point did they change it for you? I found out at the rehearsal, you know, there was like, this is Jackson 5. And it's right before. Yeah, so I mean, I had already been practicing it, and, and their versions are pretty similar. You know, it's just minor things that make them different, but yeah, hopefully America still loved it. And so now doing another Michael Jackson song, I had said to one of the other contestants that you have Judith Hill, mm -hmm. who was a backup singer for Michael. Is that kind of nerve-wracking to know that she was actually on tour with a legend and you're performing one of his songs? No, because she's so down to earth and she's not judgmental like that. And, and she told me after our run through today, she said, you sound amazing. So wow. she was with That's him. Right. I was like, OK, well, she said it and she worked with him. Then I must be doing something right. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Awesome. So if you had to pick your next song, what would you go for? I can't say it. And people are not. I, I don't know. Just I, Sha Shakira just whatever she throws at me is my job to, to get it together. So. Amazing. so now if you were to go home tomorrow, which we hope you don't because you're so talented, what would be next for you? Hopefully, you know, well, I'll get back in the studio and, and just see if some more doors may open up. You know, some people have reached out to me, so I think some things may be in line for me that's after awesome. the show. So, yeah, that's what a lot of the other contestants are saying, too. You guys are kind of working on the future now, yeah. and some of you are having people in the industry reach out already. Mm -hmm. So is there anybody out there specifically right now for you that's reaching out that you may want to work with? Well, I can't say just yet, but it's some people that I, I'm definitely interested in working with that have, have reached out. Is it more producer-wise or like album stuff that you are thinking about in the future? Producers. Producers have reached out. Yeah. So, yeah. And so now are you like binded to a record deal if you go far with The Voice or are you able to creatively choose who you want to go with? Um, well, we do have obligations contractually, so it is more so pertaining to the top contestants, maybe the top two, top three. So, I mean, once we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. And so now for all your lady fans out there, what do you have to say to them to keep you in the top? Thank you ladies for voting. Please continue to vote for me. I'm singing to all of y'all. I love y'all. For more celebrity interviews, log on to popstoptv.com. Pop culture for the next generation.